Good afternoon, Fakeholic friends. Today is September 14th. It's in the early evening. And I'm trying to just catch up on a few trees. I don't know if I've done a video of this one here before or not. And I want to make sure I don't have it written down on my map as having a video. But um, this is called Black Portuguese. And I got it from Pete back east. Um, he's involved with the Staten Island Fig Festival, which, by the way, is tomorrow um, and I've always wanted to attend it and it looks like this year I can maybe um, attend it because it's going to be a virtual meeting. My friend Danny in New York um, gave me a heads up on that and um, hopefully that'll go well and I can maybe have some figs in front of me and it'll be a tasty event. Anyway, uh, Pete involved with that and um, event and I got this tree from him and this is called Black Portuguese and it originally came from um, Bella Clara Nursery and I'm pretty sure I had mentioned somewhere along the line that um, in my estimation um, it's probably the same as the variety that we call Black Madeira which I think is all the same as Figo Preto which I think is also the same as Violeta my friend um, Francisco from Algarve, Portugal is extremely knowledgeable about figs and he's one that first pointed that out to people on the old Figs for Fun forum that um, both Black Madeira and Figo Preto were Violeta and I'm growing all three of those and um, I have come to the same conclusion. It seems rather obvious to me. Um, and I think probably Craven's Craving is the same, but I I did do a video of that, I think, but um, my tree on that is pretty small. This tree, in fact, also is pretty small, and it's I've had it for at least three years. Um, and similar to what we sometimes find with Black Madeira, it can grow slowly. I need to graft this onto another variety to get it growing better and make a better comparison. But I checked, and I do have one ripe fruit here and it's got a drop of honey in the eye there. Uh, I know sometimes if I get um, the fruit too close to the camera it doesn't focus well enough so I want to get that further. It's got some cracking on it which sometimes happens with black Madeira. It's got a shape which is very common for black Madeira. A squatty fig um, with a neck on it. So let me take a bite and see. Having a little bit of a hard time here. Um, to me this tastes the same. So I'm pretty sure that this is that. And I think Ross has also done a video and talked about, in fact, that's why I think I maybe discussed this in some other general video. Because Ross had said that and I you know, um, you know, agreed with what he had said at the same time there that this seems to be just another fig that is probably in the United States at least best known as Black Madeira because it's been around and sought after for over 10 years. Um, so anyway, oh, there's my propane cannon. It's much louder in person than in my video, so it's quite alarming. I just see a flock of birds fly off, so it's doing its job. So again, this is called Black Portuguese, and the Bella Claire, Bella Claire Nursery, um, my friend Pete was good friends with Chris DiPoli, visited with him many times, um, and, um, you know, fortunately that nursery shut down, and Chris and his brother have passed on, hopefully eating figs in heaven. Thanks again.